What's up everybody? We're going to be doing a yoga class today and you're going to follow along with me because, you know, if you're feeling stiff at all, why not? Right? So let's get right into it. We're going to first begin in a very chill position. We're going to lay on our back. We all need to lay on our back sometimes on the floor. Put our feet together and knees apart. Put your arms overhead and grab opposite elbows and just relax your head down and take a few moments to just feel comfortable in this position right now. Your legs are in the butterfly position and your arms are just stretching out overhead and always remember if something if you want to do something different go for it. Don't listen to only what I'm saying. Do what your body is telling you it wants to do. Okay, everything I make is a suggestion. And if things get too intense, rest in child's pose. All right, now reach your arms overhead and stretch them straight overhead. And then put your arms out to the side like a T position. Rest them down, bring your knees up, and let's just do a twist. Twist your knees to the right as you look over to the left. You could put your right hand on your left thigh to help push it down. It's a nice little lower back stretch. And then let's raise the knees back up, knees and feet up. Twist over to the left side as you look over to the right. And then you could put your left hand over your right thigh to help accentuate the twist. Take a deep breath here. Good. Now bring the knees back up and let's just go on hands and knees. Transition however way you like and meet me on the mat like this. We're going to do a little bit of cat-cow to warm up the spine. It's very simple. Inhale as you arch your back, stick your butt out, look up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone, maybe look at your belly button. Inhale, arch your back, stick your bum out, look up, exhale, round your back. You can keep doing this or you can take it the next step further and do the circular cat-cow where you arch your back, look up, stick your butt out and then bring your whole body to the right as your head goes to the left as you round your back. And then as you round your back, you, your whole torso goes to the left as your head goes to the right. And then you arch your back again. So you're, you're putting your whole spine in a big rotation. Or do the regular cat-cow. Or do whatever variation you like. Explore the different ways. You can move it. Switch sides. Switch, switch directions. I like to just call this the circular cat-cow. All right, now from here, let's go into child's pose. Feet together, knees wider apart. Sit back on your heels. And as you reach your hands forward, but your butt is sitting toward your heels. And then let your head go down. Forehead on the ground. Always come back to this position in any yoga class if you feel it's getting too intense and you just need a break. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel how whenever you inhale, the back of your body lifts up. And exhale. Now I want you to reach forward. Keep reaching forward. Crawl your fingers forward. Keep crawling them forward until your hips come over your knees. And now this will be puppy dog position okay from here you can also rest your forehead on the ground and then crawl your fingers back into child's pose good and then get back on top in tabletop position on hands and knees again and we're gonna tuck our tailbone Arch your back just like you did before in cow pose. Look up, stick your butt out, 
and then raise the knees up into downward facing dog in downward facing dog this is an intense pose so you can pedal the feet bring the heels down and up to try to warm up the calves in this position you can bend the knees liberally and bring the chest toward the thighs you can straighten the legs straighten one leg swivel the feet left and right there's a lot of things to do in downward downward facing dog we could spend a whole class on downward facing dog actually but for now we're just warming up taking a few moments here <sighs> remember to breathe move your neck around shake it no to let it go good now bend your knees deeply, look forward at your hands, and step or hop forward to your hands, and then step your left foot back into a lunge. And put your hands behind you like a jet airplane. Lift the torso off your front thigh. Hands reaching backwards, crown of the head reaching forward, back of the neck long. Deep breaths here. Keep, keep everything the way it is and just raise your arms forward and then lift your whole torso up good breathe Whew. bring the hands down step the foot back into plank I want you to lean the shoulders forward ahead of the wrists lower down very slowly all the way down slowly and then untuck your feet do a cobra position by just lifting your chest up and then tuck your toes and push yourself up into downward facing dog good now bend your knees deeply look forward at your hands step or walk forward between your hands good and then put your right foot back into a lunge. Sweep the arms back like a jet airplane. Bring the torso off your thigh. Reach the fingers backwards, pulling the shoulders down away from the ears as your head, crown of the head is reaching forward, back of the neck is long. Now, without changing anything else, reach the arms up and then bring the whole torso up. Deep breaths here. Bend the back knee a little bit. Sweep the hands down. Step the foot back into plank. Lean the shoulders forward and then lower down slowly and now let's do upward facing dog in this position we're gonna straighten our arms and the only thing that touches the floor in upward facing dogs are the tops of our feet and the, our hands as we look up and then we tuck our toes and go into downward facing dog now from here I want you to <sighs> breathe and again bend your knees deeply stick your butt out look at your hands and then hop or walk forward to the top of the mat and then sit your butt down as you sweep your arms up into chair pose in chair pose we're basically just trying to sit in a chair halfway now from here forward fold straighten your legs and try to touch your toes with straight legs good let's do it one more time inhale as you sweep the arms up and sit in a chair good now bring your hands together prayer pose and start twisting to the left twist 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 to the left and then hook your right elbow on your left knee and step your right foot back 
into a lunge. Whew. Good. Now from here, bring your right hand down and your left arm up. Put your back knee down. Good. If you're comfortable here, stay here. But if you can grab, kick your foot up. Grab your back foot. And look back at your hand. Try to drive the front knee forward, hips forward. And if you can't grab this foot, maybe you could grab a towel and then grab it. Okay? Relax your face. Smile. <laughs> And now let go that foot, drop it down, and let's go into a hamstring stretch. Raise both arms up, and now straighten that front leg and bow down over it. Let's do it dynamically. Reach the knee forward, and then bow down over that front straight leg. One more time. Straighten and bend. You could do this really fast too. Do it at your own pace. Okay, now let's put our right hand down, left arm up, tuck our back toes, lift the back of the knee up, step the left foot back, and put the left hand down. Walk the hands forward, I mean the feet forward to the hands. Chair pose, sweeping the arms up toward the sides and up. Put the hands down into a prayer position. Start twisting to the right this time. Use your body to just twist, 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 and then hook your left elbow on your right thigh. Put the left foot back into a lunge. And then put the left hand down, right arm up. Put the back knee down. Stay here if you're comfortable here or do the bind where you kick the back foot up, grab the foot with your right hand, look back at your foot, pull it in toward you if you can, or just leave it there, find whatever's comfortable, find, the, find your edge and ride it. Don't make that pain face. Good. Remember to breathe. And then let's let that go. Sweep the arms up. Straighten the front leg and bow down over it. Bend the knee. Straighten the knee. Bow down over it. You can make this a little harder, more intense by just sliding that front foot forward if you want to make the hamstring stretch greater. But just keep alternating between this hip flexor stretch and this hamstring stretch. Do this at your own pace. Hmm. All right, now let's meet in the lunge. Put the left hand down, right arm up. Tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up straight. Step the right foot back into a side plank. Bring the right hand down. And let's just go into a downward facing dog again. Feel how much more open your downward dog is. Try to drive the heels down into the ground. Feel how much more you're able to stretch. 
heel, toe, pedal the feet if you like. <sighs> Find what your body is telling you to do. <sighs> now from here, raise the right leg up into three-legged dog. Bring the right knee toward your left elbow. Straighten that leg and raise the left arm up into fallen angel. <laughs> At least I think that's what this is called. Now from here, let's ro rotate our arms in a circle and look at your arm, your hand, the whole time. Follow your hand. Let's do one more time. Set the hand down. Bring the right leg up into a three-legged downward dog. Step it down. Left foot up. Bring the left knee toward your right elbow. Set it down straight to your right side. Raise your left arm up overhead. Look up at your hand and just rotate in a circle. Big wide spirals. You can do it in a different direction. You can, you don't even have to look at the hand the whole time. You can look down at your other hand on the floor the whole time. Really doesn't matter. Just do whatever your body's telling you. And then set the right hand down. Raise that left leg back up into three-legged down the downward dog. Set it down. Good. Bring the knees down and let's sit on our butt and we're going to do a nice little back bend variation. We're going to start from reverse tabletop to reverse plank and then do a nice little back bend down from reverse plank. Set your hands backwards like this behind you. Raise your hips up. Try to squeeze the shoulder blades back together. You can look forward, you can look back. Find a comfortable position and raise those hips up, squeeze those glutes. Now, straighten one leg at a time and raise your hips up. This is reverse plank. Try to drive the feet down into the ground, the toes down into the ground as you raise your hips up. I want you to squeeze the shoulders back together. Again, you can look up, you can look behind you. Everyone's anatomy is a little different. Maybe it's most comfortable for you to just look forward. Find what works for you. Now, keep the hips up. Actually, keep the chest up, chest up as much as possible as you slowly Bring the hips down. Keep the chest up as the butt comes down. Keep the chest up as the butt comes down. Keep the chest up, proud as the hips come down. Now, feel how stacked your spine is. It is impossible to get into this position for me personally and for a lot of people unless you do the sequence. So enjoy this delectable posture where your thoracic, ex thoracic spine is in extension even though you're sitting like this, okay? Now, you can release the hands from behind you and I hope you feel good. I'm going to call it the end of that session because we're ending on a high note. Okay? Now, if you like that, I have a lot more yoga videos. So just search for my yoga videos in the past. I have a couple dozen already. They're all very different. This one was very different. That's how yoga is. A lot of variety. So, and if you're looking for a specific stretching sequence, a follow along video, 
specifically for your hamstrings or your hips or your shoulders and upper back. I have programs for all of that. And I also have an ultimate flexibility bundle which has all three of those programs together. So you could save money doing that, getting them all three together. And that's about it. Please let me know how you liked that session or didn't like that session. And thank you for following along. I hope everyone's doing good in this time. And that's about it, guys. Have a great rest of your day. All right. Thank you and see you later.